All right, hey guys, welcome back to Man Eater episode 6. Today we are going to be continuing and progressing through the gulf here, completing our challenges as well. Uh, hope you guys did uh, manage to catch the live stream. If not, uh, go back and check it out. It was the previous video posted on this channel. Uh, we live streamed almost two hours of this. Got advanced. We are now the Elder Shark with full bone gear. And uh, we're actually almost complete with this story, which is pretty sick. Um, I think we'll continue playing it after we complete the story, though. Because I want to try and get, like, the shadow uh, sets and stuff like that. But, yeah. Let's see. we got to eat some humans. Okay. That's uh, not a problem. It's kind of funny. Like, just because I just saw swimming down here. Come on, you gotta be here somewhere, man. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. I'm like, I do not see this dude. We've made some real bad fish kills because of these oil tankers spinning. Nice. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Uh, yeah, you can. It's called do things that make ecological sense. <laughs> Traveling around, we're constantly reminded nice. of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium. So how's everyone here been doing? World. We're doing pretty all right. Keeping busy, you know. Loving it. Uh, we actually just finished the live stream, so I. I still don't even know if you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Haven't really seen the views or the likes yet on it, so... Gonna have to wait and see. Uh, but we're over here in the Gulf. This is also a quest that we're gonna have to do, so let's just go do that as well. Ooh. How do we get down here? Consume five minutes. Okay. Is there, like, a great? Ah, uh, yeah. For more than three fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spot anywhere to be seen. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Bye, Hammerhead. It's kind of cool how often the Hammerhead spawns, seeing as they're so The bull shark is rare, able to attain like larger maximal life. sizes through selective feeding. Oh, no, I just find that pretty neat. So, where is From this the moment she's born, it's way the over shark's here? cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. I went down. I should have just. Is there like another path? Around like this way? Or did we come from this way? Okay, we came from that way. Alright, so... I did see a path over here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting here. Oh, struggling there. I seriously had no idea. Yeah. Good job on that damage there, buddy. I heard said Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around here. I funded a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. Oh, there's the treasure. This is I don't know how you haven't fine. found it yet. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Well, gold's been overperforming now, so gotta blame the Fed for that, too. Uh, all right, six. So we got that one done. Uh, let's see. We swim the sharks or destroy the target. Let's see. Uh, let's actually just go discover these. We've completed two quests pretty quickly, so we got a little bit of time. Swim around, check things out. Anything over there. All right. And besides, we can always warp back to the grotto, so it's not like it's a big deal. Yeah, no. Oh, it's a sign. 
So probably, if I were to guess, gotta use this crate here. Oh, look, no surprise. Great. Kill a hammerhead. <laughs> Bye. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. There's two ways in here. That's kind of what Edge, yes. I'm gonna go in here too, I guess. Might as well. We're over here, right? These signs. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. I wonder how we're gonna actually, like, face off against Scaly Pete. You know, like, is that, like, level 10? Do we complete the story? Like, I don't know. That's kind of sick. What is that? Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying oh. more worthwhile cities. Okay. Can we break that out, or this is sick. I wonder if there's any like more story to it. You know, that's pretty cool. Full dead honesty. Let's see. So, if we check back at our map, nothing else is over here. All right, so we'll just fast travel back to the grotto. Once more, the shark turns back is there anything to this in place here that we need? of oh, We can upgrade, actually. Let's do that. There we go. And this is what I want, the truth quest. But we... I don't know how we reach level 35. Like, I can't eat anything more. You know? Like, like, if I eat this, right, it doesn't do anything to level me up. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. A great way to discourage museum attendance is That's to sick. put your museum underwater. Teenager. I mean, you had to. This museum is the first place I took him after when he got certified. I mean, you have to kind of think, though. Like, I mean, you did rip me out of my own mother's womb, pretty much, as a shark. I mean, you did. It's not pretty much. You did. And then I gotta fend for myself. I wanna have a little bit of, a little bit of vengeance. I'm pretty vengeful. I would be, I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's see. So, we don't want to go to Prosperity. So that's a bad idea. Let's see. We can do... We can do this. Yeah, that's down this way. Yeah. Oh, there's a sign. Let's get it. Nah. Even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazorp is not without its reliability concern. Gazorpazorp? That's from Rick and Morty. That's it for today. 
Raising the Zorpazorp. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to I love stop Rick and Mother Morty. Nature's it's seriously like one of my favorite shows of all time. It's so good. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. I use the shock and stun the next one. <laughs> oh, that works. That works way too good. Oh, that's a sperm whale. That's kind of sick. I wonder how much the sperm whale will give. The insatiable sperm whale needs to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. And squids. They like giant squids. It's one of their favorite meals. We'll escape. Sharks don't normally mess with whales. I'm messing with this whale. Unless they're dead. Alright, well. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, uh, let's go do this. Let's kill this here really quick. We'll grab this. And then we'll go consume these humans. Hey, you take a bath, you hippie. The university sends their students out nice. here every summer to study the reefs. Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? Nip. Just a little bit. There, Scaly Pete. Uh, so what quests do we have to do? Golf population control, check on Scaly Pete, quick boss. Okay, so... We should just try and get those all gone. supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. That's so awesome. I know if I was a shark, that would be something I'd be deadly afraid of. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good, uh... A very good thing to be that accurate on. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Sea sponge home. Sea sponges demand for pineapple hey, homes look. has sparked massive deforestation it's throughout Costa Rica. SpongeBob. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their fine decisions. We almost got all of our license plates. It's pretty sick. Another shark hunt right. draws to a close. Where do we need to go here? Oh, we need to go over right here. I swam way too entirely far. I just kept swimming. You know how you do. 
That's an orchid. Don't want to mess with an orchid. Not right now, at least. Okay. Let's go kill these human bobs. Sewer lines need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. Alright, cool. Stop being annoying. <laughs> Just stop. Alright. So we got that one done. We gotta go do this one. Huh? Yup. Hot blooded. Destroy the target. Look at that. Look at that crap. Alright. Carriage gold fixtures, two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. Up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Nice. Doing good, baby. Nice. All right, let's see. So, now we need to do that. I'm trying to get it done. You know, try and try and get through this little part here as fast as possible. Okay, that's a really big win. Okay. Let's pack it up. It's another unsuccessful shark for the people of Port Clovis. Batter it, batter it, batter it, batter it, batter it, batter it. Nice. I think we did good. Yep. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Um. Uh... Right as I'm about to go in the hiding hole. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Yeah, let's see. So we need to go here, but... So we'll go in here, we'll get that little crate, just because we're going to swim literally right past it. And then we'll go kill this thing. Oh, nice. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Really? I'm going to my snack for the road. Oh, okay. This guy will be easy. Nice. Got him. Oh, goodness. 
We're getting through the gulf here pretty quick. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Uh, nice. We almost got all of our cash. Shark too. is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Sick. Um. Oh, now we need to go back here. Okay. So. But actually, I wanna. I just wanna swim back. I wanna swim back there, just so we can try and beat this. This may be a slightly longer episode. I want to try and do this. I know we're probably, I know we're on like probably on right now, episode. But I'm just kind of curious to see if this is one of our caches. And if it, it, it is. Because this can be the first thing that we complete for our caches. Whatever the gulf is, An that would be. insatiable fish. The bull shark is my sick. intense appetite. I wonder where it's gonna take us honestly like because we can't get one of our things until level 35 i don't know how to get to level 35 like i've done all i know i'm a mega <laughs> nice got all those things. this instantized protein makes a great um, meal supplement giving the shark the energy oh. she needs to put on serious mass okay so we'll actually oh so we'll go ahead and fast travel back to our grotto. Here. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Then let's go. Ahead. Power through these dudes. So honestly, they're not that difficult, but it's just a bunch. Of them. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm you have me on me. What's our next little challenge we got here? Wild eyed. All right. Oh, of course, it's way over there now. All right. Well, guess we're just going to have to go over there. The legend of Bobby Lee's gold. Let's get, let's get Bobby Lee's gold. Here, wait. Can't we just do the surface trick? Wouldn't that work better? Yeah, look how much faster we go. Get 
the fishing boat. Nice. The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract. Lieutenant Shannon Sims. I got Shannon Sims. Obstinately dig in as the conflict. Goodbye. I'm 
on. Maybe we kill a different shark. All right, cool. Yeah, maybe you guys should stop going for me. That would probably be smart. No, no, don't do that. It obviously won't be the shark. Uh, we gotta go kill ten more hammerheads. Okay. Does this smell unusual? Or is that just poor clothes? The hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. <laughs> You guys are just like snacks. It's kind of funny. Hammerhead shark. It's just a snack. Kill the apex. Let me crack that bus. Oh, there we go. Holy, that is far. Okay, that's way over here. So let's go back to the grotto. Pop over there. See if we can do any more um, upgrades really quick. Yeah, we can. So let's get that tail up. Let's get the head up. Now we are a fully maxed out bone shark with electric teeth. Only yep. here can the shark discover the miracle of self love. Yeah, I really find it hard that his whale's gonna beat us, but. I don't know. I'll give him a little snack. The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. Wow, that looks like Moby Dick. By Herman Melville. Call me. This thing back in the good old days, the 16. world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet sperma sick. Dude, that was sick. All right, so let's go check out Pete's, uh, Pete's new vessel and um, continue on with our gameplay. <laughs> that was insane. I like it. It's still insane, though. All right, let's kill this hamster. All right, let's see, Mr. Pete, what you got in store for us, buddy? Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get you easy. But when something 
some shark. Take everything I got. I give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f off my boat before I kill you too. The f I say! <laughs> I don't think Pete likes us very much. We serve a shark at the fair tonight. All right. Pete well. has built an impressive battleship, but will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? Um. Okay. So I let's take it on. Yeah. What? Okay. How do we get past? Like, that's what I still struggle to understand. How do we get past level 35? I mean, like, yeah, I'm totally cool with taking on Pete, but, like, how do I get past this level? Doesn't make sense. I mean, I think we'll do fine. If this is the final battle, though, we will still continue on our series, completing quests. That what his daddy used? His boat? It's gonna be like, stu yeah, it's level 60. God. Hello there, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today. Oh. I'm gonna fix you up real pretty. Fire will. I don't know how to take those on. Got you right in my sights. Get out of divers. That's a bad idea. I will show y'all up. Okay, so we can't attack from the water. Alright. I don't know how to beat this. I I I don't know. What am I supposed to do? So I just Okay, I need to look. Okay, but none of this helps us. I, I don't know how to. What am I supposed to do? Get someone to scare her back to the surface.
know about it. Okay, we're almost through the cage, which is going to be the important part. Yeah, of course you need reinforcements because you can't do it all on your own. That's Alright, we almost got him. I just got uh, health. Get someone to scare her back to the surface. Gotcha. Let's go.
Dude, that was such a sick cutscene there. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Maneater. That's pretty sick. That, okay, so. Nice. Has somehow survived the multi gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to Ooh. other things. In case you're okay. wondering about me, the so is canceled our program due that. to depictions of actual death. So I'm that now was actually broadcasting pretty sick. online, free from the meddling of censorious busybodies. So I think we'll go check out this to start off the next episode. Um, and then we'll call this one an episode. I thank you guys for tuning in. Let's check this thing out here. Hi, my name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man Eater. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis' extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to placate me. What did she really know? And why wasn't she telling me? Ooh. Then as if the stars had all aligned, a former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. Well, that is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.